John Aswani here with Positive Grid. I'm going to show you how to get some great clean tones with the Bias Mini. I love a good clean sound, um, and what I look for in a clean sound is openness and headroom, and the Bias Mini delivers. So the first thing I like to do is to plug in and see where I'm at. Okay, too much gain. Dial that down a bit. Don't want to lose too much volume. Which, by the way, can be controlled here with the output. The output is the clean volume up or down. It's still a little bit gnarly, so I'm going to bring the master down a bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm toggling between the master and the gain. That's going to be really the first step for me to really get my tone clean. And once I get a level that I like and a feel, what I do then is I start shaping the EQ. So I think I'm right about there with the tone that I want, the basic overall tone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten it up a little bit and I'm going to go to the treble. What I like to do is go all the way and then go back. And I'm going to do the same with the mids. So once I get a nice balanced tone that feels right with the gain and the master balanced, I like to add pedals. I'm going to kick in a delay. So now I'm going to kick in a chorus along with the delay and play an example for you. All right, so now we're going to kick in a compressor and an envelope filter. Here we go. So we dialed in a great clean tone, utilizing the uh, master and the gain to find the right balance and the EQ section to get the highs and lows to the way we wanted it. Then we added some pedals, which by the way, the Bias Mini takes pedals very well. Not just delay pedals in the loop, but also in front of the amp, the chorus modulation, as well as the filter pedals and compressor. This unit really is the core of anybody's rig. Now let's hear this clean tone in context. Mm -hmm. 